Welcome to the National Commission for the Certification of Crane Operators Articulating Boom Loader Practical Examination. If there is anything you do not understand, please request clarification from the examiner. The NCCCO Articulating Boom Loader Practical Examination consists of four tasks. There is also a pretest briefing and a pretest familiarization period. You must complete all phases of the test in sequence. Failure to do so will constitute self disqualification. In order to retake the test, you will be required to re register and pay the fees again. While you wait to take the test, you will have sufficient time to read the descriptions of the tasks to be performed and review the operator's manual and load chart for the crane or cranes you will operate today. In addition, you will be informed of the make and model of the crane and the weight of the test weight. The crane has been set up and leveled prior to testing. A spirit level is available if you wish to verify the crane's status. No part of the course has been placed at a radius that exceeds the crane's rated capacity. The test site coordinator is responsible for setting the testing schedule for the day. Once you have completed all of your tests, you must leave the test area. Only personnel involved in the administration of the test are allowed in the test area. The examiner has the authority to stop the test at any time if he or she determines you are operating in an unsafe manner. Pre-test familiarization period. You will be allowed 15 minutes to familiarize yourself with the crane and to examine anything on the crane which you feel is necessary to operate it comfortably. You are allowed to get the feel of the controls and are permitted to run the crane through its functions. Do not interfere with the test course, lift the test weight, or shadow the zigzag corridor. You must finish the pre-test familiarization period with the fork assembly stowed. The examiner will notify you when there is 10, 5, and 1 minutes remaining. If you are ready in less than 15 minutes, you may indicate this to the examiner. If at the end of the pretest familiarization period you feel you are not ready to take the examination, you should notify the examiner. You will have disqualified yourself from taking the examination at this time, and you will be required to sign to that effect on the candidate score sheet. If you are using a remote control, at no time during the familiarization period or test should you walk into any part of the course or walk underneath the test weight or boom. Walking underneath the test weight is considered an unsafe act and the examiner is required to stop the test. If your time during any of the tasks exceeds more than twice the optimum time, the examiner may ask you to stop and move on to the next task. Task 1. Place test weight in corral. Optimum time, 4 minutes, 50 seconds. At the examiner's indication to start, at which point timing will begin, lift the fork out of the fork boom rest and pick the test weight up from designated area 1. Fully close the fork assembly and place the test weight inside designated area 2 with the fork body on the near side marked A. Then remove the fork tines from the test weight. Timing will end once the test weight has been placed fully inside the designated area. The fork tines have been removed from the test weight and you receive the stop signal from the examiner. Points will be deducted for the following. 
fork assembly not properly closed. Knocking ball off pole. Knocking pole base off line. Knocking pole over. Test weight touching ground or truck outside of the designated areas. Test weight left outside designated area. Exceeding optimum time. Task 2. Blind pick. Optimum time. 3 minutes. 40 seconds. At the examiner's indication to start, at which point timing will begin, pick up the test weight from the blind side marked B and fully close the fork assembly. If you are using a remote control, you will be required to stand behind the blind pick operator area line until the test weight has been lifted and the fork assembly is fully closed. Once the fork assembly has been closed, move the test weight to designated area 3 and lower it until the chain is touching the ground inside of the designated area. Timing will end once the chain is on the ground inside the designated area and you receive the stop signal from the examiner. Points will be deducted for the following. Fork assembly not properly closed. Chain touching ground outside of designated area. Test weight or fork assembly touching the ground, truck, or course after the chain has left the ground. Exceeding optimum time. Task 3. Negotiate the zigzag corridor. Optimum time, 4 minutes, 50 seconds. At the examiner's indication to start, at which point timing will begin, guide the test weight through the zigzag corridor. Avoid touching or knocking over any part of the PVC barrier, touching the ground with the test weight, or raising it so high that the chain leaves the ground. Keep the chain on the ground until any part of the chain has touched or crossed the denotation line located 6 feet before the hurdle. Then, raise the test weight over the hurdle and place the chain on the ground inside designated area 4. Timing will end once the chain is on the ground inside the designated area and you receive the stop signal from the examiner. Points will be deducted for the following. Knocking ball off pole. Knocking pole base off line. Knocking pole over. Test weight or fork assembly touching ground or truck. Chain leaving ground before denotation line. Passing poles with the chain off the ground. Knocking down hurdle. Chain touching ground outside of designated area after being lifted over the hurdle. 
circumventing the course. Exceeding optimum time. Task 4. Place test weight on truck bed. Optimum time, 3 minutes, 40 seconds. At the examiner's indication to start, at which point timing will begin, lift the test weight from designated area 4 and guide it over to designated area 1 on the truck bed. Place the test weight on the truck bed inside designated area 1. Then remove the forks and return the fork assembly to the fork boom rest. Timing will end once the fork assembly has been properly stowed and you receive the stop signal from the examiner. Points will be deducted for the following. Test weight or fork assembly touching ground or zigzag corridor. Test weight left outside designated area. Exceeding optimum time. Please do not ask the examiner to review your score sheet or discuss your performance on the test, since they are not permitted to do so. Your results will be sent to you within 12 business days after receiving your score sheet. If you have completed all of your tests, you must leave the test site. Otherwise, you should return to the pretest briefing area. Thank you for participating in the NCCCO Crane Operator Certification Program.